The severe storms across central Texas packed a lot of power with softball sized hail, damaging winds, flooding. Some of the biggest hail was actually out in China Spring, and some of it was four inches in diameter. And that's where we begin our team coverage with Bailey Bates and Nicole Sheeran. What have you all seen out there? Lindsay, Chris, hours ago, a strong storm rolled through McLennan County, bringing lots of hail, especially on this road right here in China Spring. And I mean, Bailey, the moment we drove down this road, I instantly noticed the damage on cars. For sure, Nicole. And we saw a lot of hailstones across the yards, and they had already started to melt, but you could tell how big they were based off the amount of damage that they caused. When severe storms roll in, seconds matter, and precaution becomes priority. My wife, she was... Her and my daughter, they was in the bathroom in the, in, uh, in the bathtub. I was in my uh, bedroom closet and my son, he was in another closet. So we tried to do what we could to take uh, cover because we didn't know how serious it really was going to be. During a tornado warn storm, Curtis Williams and his family were thankful for no life threatening damage, but he wasn't expecting this. I come outside and uh, I see the uh, Cars all damaged by the hail, as you can see right here. And uh, I couldn't believe it because, you know, w well, when I was, we was inside, yeah, we could hear it pounding, you know, on the roof, like, a, a lot, like somebody was chunking bricks or something like that. For more than 15 minutes, the China Spring neighborhood the Williams live in was slammed with hailstones as large as a golf ball, some even bigger. I could hear the pounding for a good 15 minutes uh, on my roof. And then we heard like uh, window panes bre breaking, mm -hmm. you know, in our house and so we knew it was serious. With multiple cars and houses damaged, Central Texans are being neighborly, boarding up shattered windows as they prepared for a new wave of storms. <clears throat> It was very uplifting to see how quick these neighbors came together today after the storm. And Nicole, they seemed in very good spirits. Absolutely, Bailey. What we witnessed today was the definition of the neighborly way. And the rain is holding out here in China Spring for now. I hope it stays that way for the people who experienced damage tonight. So we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, well, yeah. They, they both got to see a lot of the highways and roads out there as they made their way up to China Spring today. Right, and thank you as well from us and the viewers because you guys were keeping us formed throughout, informed throughout the night. We want to thank as well for for all of you sharing your photos and videos with us. We enjoyed seeing them as they came in and we'd love to see more. So just text them to our number 254-777-6000.